Well, brothers and sisters, comrades, friends, it's great to see us here today remembering those who went before us battling against racism, against fascism, and for unity in communities like this up and down the country. Now, 40 years ago, I wasn't here in Wood Green. I was a teenager in Manchester. But we faced the same attacks. I remember people marching in Manchester. I remember the stickers on the lampposts caricaturing black and Asian people saying, we want your homes, we want your jobs. I remember the racist attacks on black people. And you had to take a decision. Which side were you on? Were you on the side of the racists and the fascists and the violent attacks? Or did you stand for unity and progress? And me and my mates decided that we were going to stand with those who oppose racism and fascism. And that meant sometimes you face confrontations, you face threats, you face physical attacks. And that was the battles that people had to go through in the 1970s. Because we stood for unity. And the only way ordinary people have ever made any progress is through by being united and standing together. And today we face exactly the same type of attacks as has been mentioned on refugees, on migrants. And let's remember this. It's not migrant workers who have driven down wages in Britain. It is rip-off bosses who have attacked wages in, for working people in Britain. It is not people who have come here from around the world who have caused a housing crisis in London and across the country. It is decades of failure to build houses that has caused that crisis. And it is not migrant workers who are causing a crisis in our National Health Service. In fact, migrant workers prop up our health service. It is Tory cuts that is causing the crisis in our health service, in education, in local government and in services all across the country. And we don't forget who is really to blame. And we point the finger at those who are in power and those who caused this economic crisis, the billionaires and the bankers who plunged this world into economic chaos. And they ask us, ordinary people, to the pay the price. And when things start to go wrong, they want to point the finger at minorities and people who speak a different language or have a different religion or come from another part of the world. And we reject that disunity and we fight for unity and progress. So I think the lesson today is exactly the same as those who fought 40 years ago or the heroic women of Grunwick who demonstrated that through, by being organised, people could stand up and fight for decent wages, decent conditions, and the right for justice. So I say in concluding today that our message is exactly the same. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what language you or your parents spoke or what religion you have or if you have none. If we're working people, we have to stand together. Jobs, homes, decent pay and justice. Solidarity forever. Thank you very much.